Now, you might not be able to visit Greece this summer, but you can dive into this. This is a Santorini Blue 2013 M3 with the competition package. This is one of the most highly sought after colors. At first, I thought it was Esteril Blue, but no, Santorini Blue. Absolutely spectacular. Now, I love all original cars. And I love all original cars in fantastic condition. And this checks both of those boxes. Before we go any farther, I want to say a big shout out to Core Motor Cars here in Vancouver. Thank you for letting me borrow this car for the day. This is for sale and it is absolutely stunning. And whoever buys this is getting an immaculate car. So this car has traveled 77 and a half thousand kilometers. This is a Canadian car with the competition package in this color. To be honest with you, I don't think I've ever seen this color in person before. And you probably haven't seen one either because only 22 examples of this M3 in Santorini Blue were ever brought to North America. So this is a rare color. This is also the very last year for this model and the last year for the V8 engine under the hood. So these are unique and collectible cars and they have been for several years. Prices have been going up of the last V8 equipped M3s, but because of COVID, if you're following the car market, uh, unique and collectible car prices have gone up. So this is a highly desirable car in a highly desirable color and the market is reflecting that right now. I also love the fact that it comes with silver wheels. Uh, the trend these days is to go to black wheels. I'm not a big fan of black wheels. I think they kind of get lost in the car. When you have silver wheels, it just pops against the blue. Uh, this car is fully loaded. It's got the extended leather package on the inside. So enough about all of that. Let's get inside and tell you more about what's under the hood. Well, whoever ordered this car originally ticked all the boxes. It's beautifully finished on the inside. This has the extended leather package on the inside. It's called Navilo leather. You get the carbon fiber trim on the dash and the doors. Now, typically I don't like carbon fiber look. It looks kind of shiny and like plastic. This looks really nice with the carbon fiber weave and the blue stitching and the extended leather means you get leather covering more surfaces on the inside. And speaking of leather, the condition of these seats is unbelievable. Typically, you get a lot of wear on the driver's bolster. This one looks like it's brand new. Fantastic condition on the inside of this car. Now, because it's the competition version, you get the carbon fiber roof. That makes the car lighter. No sunroof, which I like. You also get the uh, drilled out rotors. This car also has the comfort access, means you can open the door and start it without having to grab your key. It's got the navigation and the iDrive system as well. Some of the older cars, you could get them without the screen, which is cool. I, I driven one of those, I liked it. This one's fully equipped. So this is gonna to appeal to somebody who kind of wants a newer car. Now, this has a dual clutch transmission. It was a harbinger of things to come. So in this generation of M3, you could get it with a manual or with an automatic transmission. Now, that's all you can buy. All right, we'll hit the power button. That's always a good idea. We'll put it in manual, wait for no traffic. We'll turn the shifts up to 11 and away we go. <laughs> so this generation of M3 is unique. It was the only M3 available with a naturally aspirated V8 engine. The car before had a naturally aspirated inline six cylinder. And after this car, they went to turbocharged inline six cylinders. So it kind of stands out as something really quite unique and daring from BMW. And that's why it's collectible. It's because of the engine under the hood. 414 horsepower, it's a four liter engine and it makes all the right noises. There's no replacement for displacement. So you've got a larger engine and it's a V8 and it just is velvety smooth. As I mentioned, you can turn the shifts up to 11. I joke, there's different shift patterns, a switch here right by the console that allows you to make the transmission lazy and easy shifting for bumper to bumper city commuting. And then when you want to have some fun, you ratchet it up and you get the most assertive shifts for more fun. I love the power dome hood. You look out from my seating position and you just see the big bulge on the hood. <laughs> it's uh, very testosterone laden, this car, but that's good. The steering is fantastic. And the other thing I forgot to mention is uh, M3 Coupe doesn't exist anymore. 
So the M3 is the four-door sedan, and the two-door is called the M4. So it's the very last M3 with a V8, all of that. Once again, it's all adding up to be a cool car to own. As I mentioned, I love cars that are original, unmolested, meaning not heavily modified, maybe a few light mods here and there, but I don't like cars that have been heavily modified. This one, because you know what? That's what makes a car collectible, is leaving it intact, as the Germans decided it was to be. And uh, that's what you're getting with this. Well, who do I think is gonna want this car? Well, somebody that can appreciate all the engineering and the design, it's just a beautiful looking car. This generation of three series, I think is the high watermark. Uh, so somebody that appreciates all of that, but I think somebody that's gonna look after it and keep it in this kind of condition for the long haul because collectible cars are really only collectible when they're in fantastic shape. This one is, so I think the person who buys this should enjoy it, drive it, have some fun, but also keep it like this and if you're going to change anything make sure you keep all the parts because that's what people want when they're buying older cars that are collectible they want all the original stuff well thanks again to core motor cars here in vancouver for letting me borrow this stunning 2013 santorini blue immaculate the interior the paint the wheels the way it drives perfect so thanks for watching i'm going to try to do one of these unique collectible or fun cars every friday on the channel Hit the subscribe and the notification bell, and we'll see you next week.